so this is now the part two of your uh, topic about rational equations and in here we would like to know what is the value of x in 5x over 6 plus 1 third is equal to 7 over 12. In here we need to find out what is the LCD. So the LCD of 6, 3, and 12 that would be equal to 12. So what we're going to do here is to multiply both sides of the equation by 12. So this is your equation. Then we will multiply both sides by 12. So first, what is 12 over 6? We know that is 2. Multiplied by 5x, that will be equal to 10x. Then 12 divided by 3, that will be 4. Times 1, that would be positive 4 is equal to 7 over 12 times 12. So 12 over 12 is 1. So we just copy 7 here. So this will be 10x is equal to 7 minus 4. 10x is equal to 3. And x is equal to 3 over 10. So we know that the value of x here is 3 over 10. We would like to check if this is really the solution for your equation. So what we are going to do is to substitute 3 over 10 to the x here. So this will be 5 times 3 over 10 all over 6 plus 1 third is equal to 7 over 12. So 5 and 10. So this becomes 1. This is 2. So this will be 3 halves over 6 plus 1 third is equal to 7 twelfths. So 3 halves divided by 6 that will be 3 over 12. Then let's convert 1 third having the same denominator here. So this will be over 12 instead. Then 12 divided by 3 that's 4. 4 times 1 is 4 is equal to 7 over 12. So in here if you simplify we can see that 7 over 12 will be equal to 7 over 12. Meaning this is the true statement or uh, the solution for your equation. So 3 over 10 is the solution for 5x over 6 plus 1 third is equal to 7 twelfths. Let's have your next example. So for this example, we would like to know what is the LCD of 5, 3, and 15. And in here, your LCD will be 15. So what you're going to do is to multiply both sides of the equation x minus 3 over 5 minus 4 minus 3x over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. We multiply both sides by 15. So 15 over 5. So 15 divided by 5, that's 3. Then we copy the numerator. So you can show that you, have, you can multiply it here. Then minus... 15 divided by 3, that's 5, times the numerator. Then 15 times 5, divided by 15, rather, 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 2, it's 2. Then we will distribute, so this will be 3x minus 9 minus 20 plus 15x is equal to 2. Combining similar terms, you will have... 18x is equal to 2 plus 9 plus 20. So this will be 18x is equal to 31 and x is equal to 31 over 18. So we already know that x is equal to 31 over 18. Then we will check if really 31 over 18 is the solution for your equation. So let me erase this first. So let us now substitute the value 31 over 18 to all, of, to all of the x's here on your equation. So this will be 31 over 18 minus 3 over 5 minus 4 minus 3 times 31 over 18 all over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. So let's simplify this first. So this will be 31 over 18 minus, we will convert 3 into a fraction that has 18 as the denominator. So what you're going to do here is to, to get the numerator, you need to multiply 18 times 3. And 18 times 3 
that will be equal to 54 over 5 minus 4 minus 3. Then this will be cancelled out. This is 1, this is 6. So meaning you will have uh, 31 over 6 here all over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. So let's simplify. So 31 minus 24, that would be negative 23 over 18 all over 5 minus. So let's convert 4 having 6 as your denominator. So this will be 24 over 6 minus 31 over 6 all over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. So, uh, negative 23 over 18 divided by 5, that would be negative 23 over 90 minus 24 minus 31, that will be negative 7 over 6 all over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. So, let's continue it in this part. So, negative 23 over 90. So, we use plus here because this is negative, negative. Then, 7 over 6 divided by 3, that will be 7 over 18. So, 7 over 18 here is equal to 2 over 15. So, to add this part, we need to get the LCD of 90 and 18. The LCD of 90 and 18 is 90. So, this will be negative 23 over 90 plus so we will convert this into 90 then to find out the numerator this will be 90 divided by 18 times 7 so that part it will be 35 so we write it here is equal to 2 over 15 then negative 23 plus 35 that will be equal to 12 then we copy the denominator 90 here is equal to 2 over 15 so we just need to get the simplest form of 12 over 90 both 12 and 90 is divisible by 6 so this will be 12 divided by 6 is 2 90 divided by 6 is 15 so 2 over 15 is equal to 2 over 15. So, meaning to say, this is true. That uh, 31 over 18 is the solution for this equation. x minus 3 over 5 minus 4 minus 3x over 3 is equal to 2 over 15. So, for the last example, we need to identify the LCD of your denominators. So, in here, we have x minus 1, we have x plus 1, and x squared minus 1. So in here, x minus 1 and x plus 1 is already a prime factor. Uh, on the other hand, x squared minus 1, if you still remember, we can still factor this out by getting the sum and difference of two squares. So this will be x plus 1 times x minus 1. So meaning your, your uh, what you call this, your LCD here will be quantity x plus 1 times x minus 1 since this is present on both of your prime factors. So what you're going to do here is to multiply both sides by x plus 1 times x minus 1. So let me erase those. So we will multiply the equation both sides by x plus 1 times x minus 1. So, for you to be able to answer this, the easiest way would be whenever you have the denominator here, the one who is not present, uh, it will be the one who will remain. So, in this case, x minus 1 cancelled out x minus 1 times 1. What remains will be x plus 1 on this part. On the other hand, if you have x plus 1 here, so, we, we need to copy the plus sign. So, since this is x plus 1, what remains will be x minus 1. So, since this is 1, we just copy x minus 1 here. Then, we know that x plus 1 times x minus 1, it is also x squared minus 1. So, if you divide it here, it will become only 1. So, what remains will be 4x plus 2. 
Then we will combine similar terms. So this will be 2x, then 1 minus 1 is 0, is equal to 4x plus 2. So combining similar terms, all of the variables should, uh, all of the terms with variables should be on the right hand side. All of the constants will be on the left, um, left hand side. So we can do this as negative 2 is equal to 4x minus 2x. So negative 2 is equal to 2x. Then we can just divide both sides by 2. Uh, negative 1 is equal to x or x is equal to negative 1. So let's try to solve. So this will be 1 over, so let's try to check rather. So this will be 1 over negative 1 minus 1 plus 1 over negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 4 times negative 1 plus 2 over negative 1 squared minus 1. So in this part, this will be negative 1 half plus 1 over 0 is equal to, so negative 4 plus 2, that would be negative 2 over um, 0. So as you can see, you will have undefined value here. So if this is undefined, uh, in math, we don't allow 0 as your denominator. So if the equation becomes undefined, meaning uh, x is equal to negative 1 is not a root. So meaning this equation has no root. So uh, let me take note of this. So this has no root because uh, in here, this is a false statement. Um, in time that you have undefined term here, it is already now false. So that will be all for your video for today. So hopefully you learned a lot from, uh, from this topic. If you have questions, you can use the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. So this is our math minute for today. Bye.